Hello to you all. Here we are again. You might be thinking that we live in these little squares on your screens, but we don't. And it won't be long until we're out and about again. We've got a great session for you this morning. Let's start by warming up. We had this song last week and we're going to sing it again now. Jesus, living in us, can change the world. Are you ready with your hands to show the city on a hill and the light in the darkness? Let's sing City on a Hill. I am a city on a hill. I am a light in the darkness. Jesus living in me can change the world. I am a city on a hill. I am a light in the darkness. Jesus living in me can change the world. I am a city on a hill, I am a light in the darkness, Jesus living in me can change the world. Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. If God is for me, who can stand against me? Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. On a hill, I am a light in the darkness. Jesus living in me can change the world. I am a city on a hill, I am a light in the darkness. Jesus living in me can change the world. Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. Let it shine, let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. If God is for me, who can stand against me? Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. If God is for me, who can stand against me? Let my light shine, let my light shine, let my light shine. We are a city on a hill. We are a light in the darkness. Jesus living in us can change the world. We are a city on a hill. We are a light in the darkness. Jesus living in us can change the world. Let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine. Let it shine. Let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine. If God is for us, who can stand against us? Let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine. If God is for us, who can stand against us? Let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine. Let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine. Let your light shine, let your light shine, let your light shine. One of my favourite parts of Funday Morning is our gallery. We love seeing how you get on with the activity and it's great to share some of the other things that you've been up to. Here's what you've been doing this week.
and we gave you the opportunity to share some of your favourite jokes with us. Have a laugh. Why did the boy throw butter out the window? I don't know. Why did the boy throw butter out the window? Because it wasn't a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you ready for a challenge? You've seen our gallery pictures. Now have a look at these pictures that we're about to show you. There's something not quite right going on. See if you can spot it. Grown-ups, this is for you also. So here are the first pictures. There's this. And then this. Now look at these. This one. And then this one. Who does some of that at home? Here's one more set of pictures. Three in this set. That is so cute. Can we look at that a bit longer? <laughs> Next. Can you tell what's happening there? And this one. Ooh. And the last set here. Have you seen what's wrong? Have a chat at home amongst yourselves. What did you at home say? Possibly something about the order of things? <laughs> yep, in the wrong order, going backwards. The crust, then the uneaten bread. Then the newly hatched chick, and then the egg. Going backwards. Did you work it out? And we're going backwards with our next few stories. Jesus said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people followed him. For the next few weeks, we're going to tell you the stories of some of those amazing and wonderful things. So we're going back. Back to before Pentecost. Back to before Ascension back even to before Easter. In a moment, Lydia's gonna tell us one of those stories, but first, let's sing again. Why don't you join in with Guardian?
trust and obey. I will walk by faith and not by sight. God of my life. So let your kingdom come, your will be done. All your promises will stand forever. Your mighty defender, you go before me, you're there beside me, and if I wonder, love will find me, goodness and mercy. Defender strong in love forever faithful we are yours and we will trust in you oh you our God our great defender strong in love forever faithful we are yours and we will trust in There was once a man named Jairus. He was a leader in the Jewish meeting place. Very important. Let's give him an important looking hat. Jairus had a wife and a daughter. Jairus's daughter was very special to him. But one day she became poorly. Very poorly. So poorly, in fact, they thought she was going to die. Jairus and his wife were very sad and very worried. I know they're smiling, but that's all they could do. Jairus had heard about Jesus and thought he might be able to help them. But Jesus had gone across the lake to visit another town with his disciples. So Jairus waited with another crowd for Jesus to come back. Hurry up, Jesus! thought Jairus. Soon, Jesus arrived with his disciple in the boat and they got off onto the shore. Jairus pushed his way to the front of the crowd and fell at Jesus' feet. My daughter is very poorly, he cried. Please come to my house and make her better. Jairus got up and Jesus began to follow him to his house. Hurry up, Jesus, said Jairus. But on the way, another woman stepped out from the crowd. She'd been feeling poorly for 12 years and thought if she could just touch the edge of Jesus' coat, she'd be made better. Jesus turned to talk to the lady. She had indeed been made better by touching his coat and he wanted to encourage her. Hurry up! Jesus, thought Jairus desperately. But while Jesus was talking to the lady, another friend of Jairus's came and told him it was too late. 
Jairus' daughter had died. Don't bother Jesus, the friend said. But Jesus turned to Jairus. Don't be afraid, he said. Just believe and she will be made better. Jesus followed Jairus to his house. But he wouldn't let anybody else come in except Jairus and his wife and his disciple. So the rest of them had to wait outside. Jesus went up to Jairus' daughter's body. Don't cry, he said. She's not dead. She's asleep. Everyone laughed at Jesus. They thought he was being ridiculous. But Jesus took the girl by the hand and she got up and she got out of bed. You'd better give her something to eat, said Jesus. Everyone was really astonished. No, just still smiling. And they were also very happy. But just before Jesus left, he said to everybody, don't tell anyone what's just happened. Thank you, Lydia. What a great story of Jesus doing such wonderful things. I'm so often in a rush and can easily get frustrated when I'm interrupted. I'm going to try and learn from Jesus. Even when he was going with Jairus to something really important, the girl who was dying, he still stopped to help someone. Yeah, that's a really good point. Don't be too busy to simply listen and help. There's a bit of that story, though, that I've always wondered about. Mm -hmm. That bit at the end when Jesus says, don't tell anyone what's just happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's odd. Yeah, I thought so too. Hello? Lydia? Is that you? Yeah, I'm still here. We all are. We can't leave till the end of Sunday morning. Did, did you guys not, not know that? Well, I never knew that. <laughs> so Lydia, why did Jesus say not to tell people? Quite simply, Jesus didn't want to use his power to make himself famous. He just wanted to help people when they needed him most. Having said that, I don't think these guys did a very good job of keeping the secret. If they had, we wouldn't know the story today. Ah, thanks Lydia. What a great, big, wonderful God. Why don't we sing again? Here is Great Big God, and after this, one of our friends is going to pray with us. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper and He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams And He's known me and He's loved me since before the world began How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan Our God is a great big God our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hands Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hands 
He's higher than a skyscraper And he's deeper than a submarine He's wider than the universe And beyond my wildest dreams And he's known me and he's loved me Since before the world began How wonderful to be a part Of God's amazing plan God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And He holds us in His hands. And He holds us in His hands. And He holds us in His hands. Hello, today I'm going to pray with my hands like this. Uh, sometimes I like to hold on to things and sometimes I feel a bit angry or impatient. So I'm going to gradually open my hands and give those things over to God today. And if you want to do the same, you can. Sometimes we can hold our fists. So in the story, I thought, oh, God let that, Jesus let that woman interrupt. And, but he healed her. And then I thought, oh, poor Jairus was waiting so long, but God still healed his daughter. And sometimes when I have those feelings, I just want to go, hmm. So I'm going to put my fists together and I'm going to give those feelings to God. And you are welcome to join me if you've got any niggly feelings that you don't like. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for the story of Jairus's daughter. You are a wonderful God. And that story reminded me that I get cross with people interrupting. So in this hand, I'm giving you those cross feelings and I'm gradually going to open my fingers and give those feelings to you. And if you want to do the same, you can. And in this hand, there are other feelings. You might have other feelings too that you want to give to God. I don't know. Sometimes you might feel people interrupt at school or at home and do things that you don't like. So if those feelings are in your hand and just feeling a bit bubbling up in you, just open your hands gently and give them to Jesus right now. So we're going to give you all these things, Lord, and we thank you so much that you take away all these feelings and we ask you now to come Holy Spirit and fill us with your peace. Thank you that you are a God who heals and a God who looks after us all the time. And thank you that when we, there are interruptions and things that annoy us, that actually you come in and you use them. So we thank you, Jesus. And we pray that this week we would all know how to cope a little bit better with feelings that we don't like in ourselves, feelings of interruptions. But thank you, Lord, that you are a good, good God. Amen. Amen. Now, last week we asked you to save any boxes or packets or tubes. For your activity challenge this week, we would like you to use those things that you saved. Or anything else you choose to use. And make a bed. Remember there was a bed in the story where Jairus's daughter was poorly? We have shown you how to make a bed before. But this time, we're leaving it up to you to design it as well as make it. Send us a picture of how you get on. <laughs> Looking forward already. <laughs> I know we've got some great designers out there. Give me a thumbs up if you're one of them. Maybe. <laughs> we'll be here next week, but we're also gonna be at church. So two opportunities to see us. Till then, though, bye-bye. Oh, Lydia, 
you can uh, go home now. <laughs>